Good morning, Sir Nico. This is my demonstration for the final task of my song. Good morning, children. Good, Good morning, morning, sir. Okay, you can call me Teacher Webb. All right. Hello, guys. Hello, Hello Teacher, Teacher Webb. Webb. All right. How are you doing today? We're fine, thank you. Okay, that's nice. How about you, Aljun? I'm good, sir. Very good, that's awesome. All right. Before we go farther, I will set some rules, all right? If I am the one who's talking in front, all you have to do is to listen attentively. And if I want you to answer a question, just raise your right hand and I will call your name and please stand and answer the question. Alright? I don't want to hear some unnecessary noises. Is that clear? Yes, yes teacher. Okay, very good class. Okay, for you to recall our past lesson, we will be playing It Pass the Ball. Are you familiar with that game? Yes, yes teacher. teacher. Alright, okay. Our lesson last meeting was all about common nouns. And for you to refresh something, we will be playing Pass the Ball. Okay, this is how it works. I will be playing a music, and as the music plays, you will pass the ball to your classmates. And when the music stops, the one who holds the ball will answer the question. He or she will name a plant or an animal, and he will spell it. Did you understand? Yes, teacher. Alright, and if that's the case, Please let the music play. Okay, pass the ball. Pass the ball to your right. Okay, nice. Move your body. Move your body. Okay, stop. Okay, Lyra, name an animal. Tiger. Spell tiger. T-I-G-E-R. Very good, Lyra. Clap your hands. Okay, play the music. A flower, sir. Okay, flower. Spell flower. F L O W E R. Is Algin correct? Yes. Yes, yes. Algin is correct. Let's give Algin five blocks. Okay, very good. All right. This time, it seems like you are all refreshed and ready for our new lesson. Do you love to dance? Yes, yes, teacher. Alright, I will be playing a Zumba music, okay? Zumba is a dance exercise, okay? So I have prepared here a Zumba music. All you have to do is to stand, go along with the music, and you will perform what I perform. Is that clear? Yes, teacher. Okay, so when I say jump, all you have to do is to jump, alright? Okay, let's play the music.
please, please be seated. Right. Before we go on to the lesson, I have here some questions. Alright. Do you want to hear a story? Yes, teacher. Okay, but before that, do you have some favorite cartoon characters? Yes, teacher. Okay. Um, Jenica, who is your favorite cartoon characters? It's Pikachu. Alright. Pika, Pika, Pikachu. Alright. Very nice, Lila. How about the Algen? Teacher, my favorite cartoon characters are the Powerpuff Girls. Oh my god, Powerpuff Girls! They are so beautiful, right? Yes, thank okay, you. Okay, that's nice, Algen. Clap your hands! <laughs> Me too, class. I have favorite cartoon characters. Do you want to know who are they? Yes, yes teacher. teacher. Do you want to meet them? Yes, teacher. Okay, my favorite cartoon characters are... SpongeBob and Patrick. So please say hello to SpongeBob and Patrick. Okay. SpongeBob is the yellow one and Patrick is the pink one. Alright. Do you know them? Yes, teacher. Have you watched them, Algen? Yes, teacher, I do. Okay, that's nice. Alright, this time, do you want to hear? A story about Patrick and Spongebob. Yes, teacher. Okay, the story is entitled The Adventure of Spongebob and Patrick. Okay? I will be the one to read the story. And all you have to do is to listen attentively and understand and comprehend the whole story. Because at the end of this, I will be asking some questions. Alright? The Farm Adventure of Spongebob and Patrick One day, while they are sitting at the yard, Spongebob and Patrick have an amazing idea. They want to ride a bicycle to go to the farm owned by Patrick's father. When they finally arrived at the farm, out of excitement, they jumped vigorously. Spongebob and Patrick had a great time playing in the farm. They sing a lullaby, la, 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 and dance energetically. They shake their body and sway their hips, bumping to each other. Well, that's so fun. Also, they run all over to the different places of the farm. The two boys had a wonderful time together. They clapped their hands for a successful experience. At that point, they decided to go home. When they arrived at home, when they went home, they feel hungry the time. So they eat their dinner. After that, the two friends felt really tired for the whole experience. That's why they sleep. Alright, so did you understand the story? Yes, yes teacher. teacher. Is the story nice? or not? It's nice, teacher. Okay, very good. Alright. So, I have now some questions. Are you ready? Yes, teacher. Now, who are the characters of the story, Algen? Teacher, the characters of the story are SpongeBob and Patrick. Very good. Clap your hands to Algen. Alright. Where did they go? Well, very good. They go up the farm. Who owns the farm? It's Patrick's father. Very good. All right. Next. What is the first thing they do in the farm? I'll join. Teacher, they jump. They? They jump. Very good. They jump because they are so excited when they finally arrive at the farm. That's why they Jump, okay? What are the activities that they do? Yes, Lyra? They sway, they shake, run, sing, and dance. Is Lyra correct? Yes, teacher. Very good, Lyra is correct. Okay, 
Now I have a question. Those words jump, ride, dance, sing, shake, sway, and eat and sleep. What have you noticed about those words? Yes, Aljun, you're raising your hand. Teacher, those are words that show action and body movement. Again, Aljun, can you please repeat? Teacher, those are words that show action and body movement. Very good. Let's give Aljun a wonderful clap. Follow me. Okay, everybody. All right, Aljun is correct. Our topic for today. Our topic for today is all about verbs. Next. Okay, our topic for today is all about verbs. Okay, verbs. Verbs are words that express action or state of being. Those words are used in a sentence to tell us what the subject does or performs. Everybody read. Verbs are Our words that express action or state of being. Those words are used in a sentence to tell us what the subject does or performs. Alright, meaning to say, if the word signifies action, it is a... A verb teacher. Very good, it is a verb. Like for example, to the story, jump. So when we perform jump, it shows action, right? We have to move our body. That's why it calls verb. All right, so now let's go back to the story a little bit. All right. Okay? Why are you smiling? All right, I will be asking some questions. Okay, if you really understand the story. Okay. What did they do when they finally arrived? Yes, Lara? They jump. Okay, they jump. Is the word jump an action word? Yes, teacher. Very good. How about the two first activities they do? Teacher, they sing. And? Dance. Very good, they sing and dance. So, when you sing and when you dance, you are having some body... Movement. Movement. So, it simply signifies action. Alright, next, what did they do when they feel hungry? So what are we going to do if we feel hungry? They eat, teacher. Okay, they eat, so we will eat. So when we are going to eat, we show, we show action. What about if we are tired and we feel drowsy? What will we do? Now, John? They sleep, teacher. Okay, they sleep. When they, when Patrick and SpongeBob felt a little bit tired, they sleep. All right, very good. They sleep. Now, since you have already understood the story, I have here some flash cards. All right, all you have to do is to read each flash card, flash cards, and perform the word. All right. Is that cool? Yes, yes teacher. teacher. Okay, please. Okay. Okay, what is the first thing that SpongeBob and Patrick do when they finally arrive at the bar? They jump. Okay, next. Yes, they jump. Very good. Correct. Next, Mom Lasha. After that, what are the activities that they do in the farm? They sing, teacher. Please, Mom Lyra, Mom Lasha, they sing they and dance. What did they do with their body? They shake it, teacher. Okay, correct. How about, please, what did they do with their hips? They sway them. Very good. They sway their hips. Next. What did they do around the farm? They, they run, run, teacher. Wow, you are listening. Very good. They run. Next. What did they do with their hands? They, they clap, clap their, their hands, hands, teacher. Well, very good. They clap their hands. How about after they got home? What did they do when they feel hungry? They eat, teacher. They eat. 
very good, correct. Next. What did they do when they feel tired? They sleep, sleep. teacher. Alright, they sleep is correct. Now, this implies that you really listened and understood the whole story. I am very much glad to hear that class, that you are listening attentively to my lesson. Okay, next. Here are the words. First word. Sing. Alright, so sing is an action word. So who can sing? Just a little bit. Okay, Aljun, please sing. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. Okay, very good, Aljun. So we see that Aljun is moving his lips. And body and hands, so it's an action word. Next word. Dance. So just what we did a while ago, we dance. So we move our body, our feet, our hands, all over. All the parts of the body, we move it. So it's called an action word. Next. Shape. Another. Sway. Another. Run. Next. Clap next. Eat next. Jump next. Sleep. Okay, now you will be the one to read the word. First word. Sing. Again? Sing. Sing. Very good. Next. Dance. Dance. Drop your jaw. Dance. Dance. Very good. Shake. Shake. Next word. Sway. Sway. Very good. Next. Run. run. Okay. Short. Run. Run. Next. Clap. clap. Very good. Clap. Next. Eat. Very good. Next. Jump. Very good. Next. Sleep. Sleep. Very good. Clap your hands, everyone. <laughs> Alright. I am very much happy because you are all participative and cooperative. I really loved that. Next. Okay. This time is our group activity. Alright. I will be dividing you into two groups. So, this is the first group. Aljun will be the leader. And this is the second group. Jenica, Lyra, Dumaog. Alright. This time, we will be... This is the instruction for group one. Okay. Direction. Mark star if the picture is an example of a verb. And put X if not, meaning to say if the picture sh shows action or an action word, mark X. Alright? Mark X or mark star? Mark star. star, teacher. Very good. How about if it's not showing an action? Teacher, can we put an X? You will put the mark X. X. Very good, alright. So, this picture, what have you noticed about this picture? These Those are, are trees. Very good trees. How about this? A vegetables. Okay, vegetables. Alright, how about this one? A girl riding a bicycle? Okay, a girl riding a bicycle. How about this? A boy is eating okay. a bread. The boy is eating a bread. How about this one? The boy is brushing his teeth. Very good. How about the other picture? The pairs are dancing. Okay, they dance. Next. Below. Animals. Okay, group of animals. How about the lower part? Flowers. How about those pictures? The boy is reading. Yes, the boy is reading. How about the next one? The final, the last one. Teacher, those are fruits and vegetables. Okay, those are fruits. Okay, very good. Okay, so all you have to do, group one, is to... Mark a star. Okay, mark a star if it shows action. And if it's not, mark X. Okay, next. Okay, this is the work of group one. Trees, 
star or X? X teacher. We'll see. Very good. Next. Okay, this picture is it a star or an X? A star teacher. Here we go. Very good. How about the other picture? A star, a star teacher. teacher. Very good. How about the last? For the first set? An, an X. X. Is it an X? Alright, correct. Next. A, a star, star teacher. Star? Wow. Very good. Next. An, an X, X teacher. Okay, an X. Next.
teacher. All right. My playmates are laughing. Did you remember your cousin? Yes, teacher. Have you played with your cousins with your toys? Yes, teacher. Okay. My playmates back the ball outside the door. My playmates black the ball outside the door. Alright. Five. My father and uncle blunt the garbage in the backyard. Okay, I will give you five only. Five minutes to answer the question. Alright? Okay, now please answer the quiz silently and with concentration. Okay? I will wait. Okay, pass your papers to the center aisle and I will be pass it forward, okay? 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, I will, okay, please, Aljun, place the papers in the table. Alright, this time is your assignment. Please, Ma'am Lasha. Okay. Please read. Assignment. assignment. Direction. Okay, I will be the one to read first. Construct five sentences using different verbs. Present and read it to the class next meeting. Again, directions. directions. Construct, Construct five, five sentences using different verbs. Present and read it to the class next meeting. All right. Okay, so how's your experience with this? Did you enjoy our lesson for today? Yes, teacher. Okay. Because you are all attentive and you participate very well in my class, and you did very well in the activities and you answer all the questions that I ask, please get your rewards under your table. Wow! Okay. What is that, Algen? Is that a lollipop or what is that? Teacher, I got a lollipop. Wow, do you love lollipops? Yes, I do. How about you? I think that's a chocolate? Yes, teacher. Do you like chocolate? Very much. Well, very good, okay? Please stand, everyone. Please stand. Okay. I would like to say thank you for cooperate, for your cooperation until the next meeting, all right? This is Teacher Webb saying that please study hard, okay? Bye. Bye, Teacher Webb.